Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Snatch Chat, where I'm here to help you lose fat, but not your mind, and also save time. I am Tiffany, certified personal trainer, nutrition specialist, and your body snatcher. And today, I'm going to share two tactics that you can do that will help you with caloric deficit, okay? So I talk about caloric deficit a lot and a lot of people want to ignore it, but it is the only thing that matters if you want to lose weight. And when I say only thing, I don't mean other parts don't matter, but in the end, it's the only thing <laughs> that is scientifically going to help you lose weight. And all those other tactics are ways to get there. So today I'm going to actually share a couple of insights from one of my guides, okay, uh, that will get you on a faster track, okay? So I'm gonna get into that, but before I do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, press like if you find the information helpful, it really does help, and it's just, you know, show your girl some love, you know? Give me some love. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. So um, let me just, again, just make the point about caloric deficit. If you don't know what it is, basically it's the whole thing that determines weight loss. So in order to lose a pound, okay, of weight, you have to burn 3,500 calories, okay? That could mean that you eat less calories or it can mean that you burn more calories or you do both, but some way, somehow, you have to eat less calories, okay? And then that's where all the other stuff comes in. Like, do you wanna do cardio, strength training? Do you wanna do, you know, a low carb diet? Do you wanna, all that stuff is all just a means to getting to a caloric deficit. So a lot of times I will say to people, if you want to lose weight, just start counting calories. A lot of people don't want to do that. I understand it's tedious. It's something people are not really into and it feels very daunting. Um, I do suggest if you want to be very serious that you do count your calories for a little while at least uh, because that will help you become a more intuitive eater. Okay, so um, before I got into the tactics, it would be very, very irresponsible of me to pretend like caloric deficit is not a big deal and to not really, really pound how important it is, okay? It's super important, super number one, no, number one priority, okay? So uh, what I'm doing today, um, so basically this is the new year still, okay? So the last couple of videos I targeted, you know, a nutrition hack that would really help, which would be the water, and then I did one on, you know, the best workout tactic you can add in. Uh, I will link both of those below since they are kind of part of my like New Year's kind of like get back on track series. Uh, but today I'm specifically targeting caloric deficit, okay? And I'm pulling these out of my caloric deficit guide. So I do have a guide that pretty much explains caloric deficit down to the T. Um, and it comes with two parts. So the first part is just an explanation of everything, breaking it down, all of that. But the second part being that I am all about saving people time <laughs> is a hacks sheet, okay? So it has 15 hacks, okay? 11 nutrition and five workouts that really streamline caloric deficit. And I'm going to just share the two that I think that you could do right now that would be the least daunting and could really help you. Uh, that being said, if you want all 15, hit the, hit the description. You know I put it down there. So it's a really great guide, one of my best sellers. It's just good stuff, you know, because I'm all about that caloric deficit. So definitely check that out if you want to look. But I'm pulling two today, okay? And so one is going to be nutrition and one is going to be workouts, okay? So... The first actually is something that I've been doing recently. So I decided to implement this in my routine because I wanted to burn more calories. It's been one of my goals, uh, not just for the new year, but in general, but the new year of course gives that little spark and it's called moving more in general movement, okay? Um, so what I, when I say it in the guide and when I'm saying it in general terms, it's just to really start thinking about ways you can move more all the time. So a lot of people don't understand that 
calories are burned all the time even when you're sleeping when you're watching tv no matter how little <laughs> the activity is you are still burning some kind of calories and then on the high end if you're doing some running of course you're burning even more calories the movement thing is coming in the middle and doing more a little bit at a time so what that could mean is and this is not the this is not the actual tip I'm gonna go into my specific one this is the general tip is to move more I'm just giving you some examples just in case you want to implement these two um, is to you know take the stairs drive you know to a further parking space just so you're forced to walk you know walking the long way just you know getting up during your lunch break and doing like a little bit of standing and moving or walking back and forth to the bathroom or whatever you know that is not considered real exercise that just gets you moving these things do add up but what I have specifically been doing and I just started in the last like couple weeks is first thing in the morning I have tacked on doing my music based cardio which I have talked about a dozen times not a dozen times a couple times <laughs> on this channel I have added it to my morning ritual. So my morning ritual, which I've also talked about, I do like meditating, I do all kinds of stuff, uh, gratitude, all this and that. And I decided, you know what, I want to burn more calories. So what I'm going to do is every morning after I do all this stuff and right before I do my dishes, I am going to, you know, put some music on and I am going to move. And I think I did mention this in the intervals uh, video, but just moving more and doing it first thing in the morning really helps because it's really just getting the thing out of the way. And also just a little side note, it's a little hack that if you work out earlier in the day, you're very, very likely to burn more calories throughout the day because your body is already kind of up and going and your heartbeat is pumping a little more. I have tried it several times on myself and just like, how my my calories are going when I work out early versus when I work out late and always I burn more calories through the regular time because it just makes sense okay so um, I'm not pushing morning working out on you if you're not a morning person but whatever time you get up okay is the time you get up anyways and so tacking on that 10 minutes of just some movement it does not daunt you or feel as much of a time suck as trying to get 10 15 minutes later in the day when you've already had your day snowball into a whole lot of stuff because you know that the more your day goes on the harder it is to get things done because stuff pops up you get distractions all this and that but if you can first thing in the morning do it it's great. I did it this morning. I can already say I'm already way past my calorie goal and I did just finish a workout for snatch session. So, <laughs> you know, tis that too. But, um, I started with the actual cardio today and that really helped. So that is the, the nutrition, not the nutrition. That is the workout tip is to add some morning movement to your ritual if you don't have a morning ritual first i would like to push you to do that to have like five to ten minutes minimum to yourself and some quiet or whatever um, but even if you don't have that get straight out the bed and move a little do it while you're having your coffee just find that 10 minute block if you can't do 10 find five like start somewhere start moving okay so that is the workout one the nutrition tip that I have other than the water which I said you should just implement that right away it's just drink more water <laughs> um, is on the food side to try your best to instill the three to four hour rule okay so very very uh, simple basic concept the average human doesn't really get hungry and first let me just say put my disclaimer out I'm not your nutritionist I'm not your doctor none of that stuff so this is general you know personal training and being a certified nutrition <laughs> specialist and stuff like that this is general so I'm not applying this directly to you but okay it is very very helpful okay so 
the three to four hour rule for most people is that the average person is not going to really get hungry um, until three to four hours if they're eating in a sensible way. Okay, so what happens a lot is that we snack. So what the three to four hour rule entails is really paying attention to your hunger cues. So when you wake up in the morning after you have your first meal, you kind of just jog your your mind of what time it is and then you pay attention to the next time you eat and you see if it's you know an hour later or two hours later three hours later or six hours later if it's six hours later you probably waited too long to eat and so what will happen with that is you're probably not going to eat enough and you're going to be really hungry late and you might start snacking later and then if you're eating every hour on the hour you're seriously going to have a lot of calories that day so a great middle ground is to do every three to four hours what this does is it makes you more mindful and more of an intuitive eater because what you'll find yourself doing is not wasting the block on something that's not significant so say at 12 o'clock you had your first little nibble okay and this would be something some someone like me because <laughs> i'm not a morning person and i kind of get a late start but you have your first thing at 12 you know that three o'clock should be about the next time you eat now you're going to probably be really hungry at three o'clock so you're not going to waste that time block okay on say you know some a sneakers bar or you know some chips i might have a few chips with like a sandwich or something but it's going to be a more balanced thing because i know that it has to sustain me to my next meal which might be after a workout or whatever so uh, the three to four hour rule is one of i would say my top picks for nutrition uh hacks as far as like if you just don't want to be super you know on top of the calorie counting and don't want to be like you know just super into it which i think you should be willing to do for a little bit at least like i said in the beginning but it is a great way to do it on a less intense level okay and i have several methods um, that i instill with this and i will talk about more of them eventually probably um, you can always, you know, sign up for the Snack Sessions program. I, all of it is there too. So, shameless plug, huh? Plug. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So those are my two, my two recommendations from my, from my wonderful guide. Is that you can do three to four hours of eating blocks, and you can do everyday movement, and specifically do it first thing in the morning. Okay, so and that these are both things that are just going to you know help with your calories to be clear so if you're eating in three to four hour blocks that means you're only going to have you know four or five times to eat so you'll probably mix that up with real meals and snacks and it's going to be a portion control kind of you know calorie method and then on the movement side you're adding calories that you're burning in the morning so that you burn more calories overall okay so those are the two things. I hope you found that very useful. But like I said, I have a whole bunch of different hacks for this because I understand calories is really um, a hard concept for a lot of people. So, you know, definitely go and check out that guide. Um, as I said, I have, what is this? I, there are 15 total, so I gave you two of them. <laughs> so there's 13 more. So anyways, um, hopefully you found it helpful. Like I said, make sure you go and get your free workouts i didn't say that in the beginning of the video but i do have a snatch starter kit you can get some you know nutrition helps you'll get a few workouts all this and that make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel so other than that i will see you next time make sure you eat well drink well take care of yourself mind body and spirit and i will see you soon